In the world of GTA 6 leaks, speculation runs wild. Could rocket launches be a feature akin to the Kennedy Space Center? Imagine exploring the area with stunning graphics adds to the excitement. Meanwhile, rumors swirl about the actor Gregory Connors portraying Jason, but skepticism remains. As for story hopes, many fans yearn for the return of the characters like Elizabeth, envisioning her presence in the prison alongside Lucia, possibly mentoring her. With each new leak, the anticipation for GT6 only grows. Let's stay tuned for more updates on this highly anticipated game. Subscribe and GT6 will drop on PC just days after PS5 and Xbox release. Thank you and let's go! So we're starting off with, apparently Gregory Connors is the VA for Jason in GTA 6. His resume shows an upcoming project from Rockstar Games releasing in 2025, which is GTA 6, and his voice sounds pretty similar to Jason. Take a look to this one, as I can't show you the exact footage, but it's from the film, and if you want to check it out, I'll gladly try to live and not forget the link down in the description. If I forget this please write in the comments and I'm gonna send it to you and also uh, put it in the description because I might forget the next one we're going for and someone just counted the amount of birds in the trailer and he says there were a total of 122 birds shown in the trailer I wonder what Rockstar meant by this probably nothing just the birds we've been waiting for this game 12 years and since we all want this game to reach its absolute potential I think it's about time we start considering the other options as we could see, GT6 Senior Artist says that Xbox Series S is a huge challenge for developers and that he wouldn't use it even if it was given to him for free. That's what you should understand. Also, fuel stations being shown doesn't mean they will be interactive with us. They could be just for ambience and means and usable by NPCs only like it started in GTA 4 by NPCs just by passing by the fuel station. In 6, NPCs could be seen refueling their vehicles but not necessarily us even if that's a mechanic. Could be for some mission though, like it happens for some things in GTA games. So do you want the, to fuel your cars in GTA 6? Personally, I think this would be an amazing feature and so damn easy to implement. Imagine being a crazy police chase and you are about to run out of fuel. I think it adds a huge aspect of realism and a whole other dynamic to the game. What are your thoughts on this one? Any update of one on one of the map leaks being real like that leaked set, uh, has anyone found the right one if it's a true? There's a bunch of the predictions, as some of them say the GT6 from the concept mapping project uh, Americas, uh, then we go for the Kennedy Space Center in a leaked map, I do not know, some people previously stated this, but I guess the area that I marked with red rectangular is a Kennedy Space Center, equivalent space base that has two launch ports and the actual mapping project of Leonida that we got after the trailer and as well as uh, another one that we just discussed like few days uh, ago maybe like a week ago which one we had before so next up rocket launches in GTA 6 do y'all think that there will probably be space launches in GTA 6 just like Kennedy Space Center or how fun would it be to just explore this area with graphics already looking good launches would look hella real Realistic. What are your thoughts on this one? Think it could house a mystery like aliens or a UFO? Fun concept to think of this. New rumor that actor Gregory Connors Jason from GT6, but damn, there are always rumors like these and it's never Jason. He doesn't look like Jason and no protagonist could hint that they are working on a Rockstar game that is obviously GT6, so it's probably not him. As well as what we have here, when GT6 was in beta stages it was called Project Americas, which sells American, Central American or Caribbean country do you want to see in GT6? I would like it to be a mini Guarma style open world for any of these countries, but maybe bigger with more characters, exploration and side missions. First, Brazil, lots of crime, corruption, poverty and crazy fox could be cool to see, but I wouldn't want to stay there too long as the location seems repetitive. And another one is 
Cuba, as we are all most likely to see this in game because it has the potential to be relevant in the story, and I have a poop fetish. Cuba's government is notoriously corrupt, and tourism is high, is huge, and it would be fun, funny to watch people get killed in the street by the government with rich white tourists acting like nothing happened at all. Elizabeth meeting Lucy in prison. One character I hope they bring back in is Elizabeth, by far one of them my favorite characters in the HD universe. I can't see her in the same prison as Lucia possibly mentoring her or something, because I have a feeling that Lucia and Jason having to own businesses to clean money, and as such was deal with drugs a lot in the story, not just petty crimes. I can see Elizabeth being like a figurehead in the prison, like an orange as a, a new black. But we will see, this is just a rant that I hope she comes back in GT6 and also y'all might ask why would she even be in Vice City when she got arrested, well there's a R transfers and here's hope for that as well. More about my draws to people who liked my yesterday's post about the GT6 trailer in a real Miami. And I hope you too like this too, in the second photo you can compare with my previous post as well. Also, next up, which do you really prefer, a game that blows every expectations or optimizations? Saw the pause today about how Rockstar developers are saying that Xbox Series S is a huge challenge to optimize, which of the two options do you guys really prefer? A game that blows every expectations, every single feature and not to mention graphics that is years ahead of any other competitors, but of course with the cost of performance and device requirements. A game that can comfortably run on next-gen, current-gen devices and consoles, but sacrificing several features aspects that are commonly removed for optimization purposes. Uh, probably the game that blows the mind and we might wait some more time playing it on the bad graphics. The next trailer. I keep seeing people making speculations posts about when the next trailer will be and just had a funny thought. Watch Rockstar just not even release one until launch. They know everybody knows about it and is planning on buying it regardless. One day early 2025 they just release a trailer and say yup it's out. I don't think it's really gonna go that way but I can easily imagine it. It's pro it'll probably kill the speculation people thought with the waiting that we have. Will your actions during the missions affect other missions? Since the GTA 5 introduced the ability to change how missions happen by making choices with heists, will GTA 6 push the envelope further and allow us to make choices during the missions that can affect the following missions? For example, if during a certain uh, mission you destroy an antagonist plane by the time you have to kill him, he won't go to the airport go or to fly out, but will have to use other means to escape the city. Or alternatively, if during the gunfight you damage a character's house, he won't let you hide from the cops in it, and during the next mission you have to outrun the cops with no help, or other situations like that. What do you think about this one as well? Write down in the comments, would be really interesting to see what are your thoughts on all of these ideas we've discussed in today's video. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one, and peace.